This is Camp Kennedy. What's up, bonus video? Oh, hold on, it looks a little dirty. How you doing? Bonus video time. Ken in here, and uh, today you're gonna come along and small journey, big journey for the turtles we're gonna be hanging out with, but a small journey for you as I move all these critters. We've collected up all my Malaysian box turtles, some pink bellies, an albino grandis, and there's one snapping turtle right there. Uh, and they're going into the Asian turtle pond. We also have Reeves turtles. I want to start disassembling this. I believe it's an eyesore. I'm going to dismantle it and I'm going to uh, kind of put a fence there and just kind of fix this area up a bit. Uh, perhaps even get more caging out this way. So in order to do that, I need to move things. And I, I, I this thing's old. It was an old dog kennel and um, I want to upgrade. I'm motivated after the storm. I've been cleaning. I've been, I, I don't know. I hate seeing turtles in large stock tubs where the Yamadura and the um, Reeves turtles were. I don't want any more stock tubs on my property holding turtles unless it's an absolute necessity. Uh, so these guys are gonna go in this, uh, the Badiger and Fly River Pond. And they're all gonna be fine in there uh, as the water stays warm all winter. And I think it's kind of cool because it's kind of going to be this Asian turtle uh, vibe. Now, here's my new fence. Look at my new gate, everybody. Marvel. I put that up today. But watch. This is why I'm wearing these awesome shoes here because, as you can see, it's a little muddy. A little bit muddy on my feet. Uh, it's breeding season for the sulcatus. That's always nice. It's a nice time. And uh, we're going to open this. And I'm going to push or pull, rather, these guys through the mud. Oh, the f look at this nonsense. You see this? Oh, God. I mean, it is wet, people. It is the end of the wet season here. It is almost October. Wet season lasts till about November. Oh, look at that. That was a deep mud hole. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, we're moving. And this is where they're going. They're going into the Badiger Pond. I think it'll be cool to see turtles in the pond because I never see the fly rivers and I never see the Badiger unless they're eating. Um, there's that one Chinese soft shell that is in there and he's pretty friendly, but I figured, you know what, let's do this. This is gonna be so cool. So I'm gonna park this right over here. And the cool thing about this area is it's got really cool habitat for the Malaysian box turtle. Um, they like the water, but they also like flooded areas and I've got some of those here. So there's 19 of them. So here we go, let's start doing it. And I'm gonna do this, I guess maybe we'll do it like this. All right, I'm gonna see if everyone can see what I'm up to. Is that wide enough? I think so. I think that'll work. All right, here we go. Two at a time, going on in. Oh my goodness, there's two. And these guys are gonna start wandering around and doing their thing. And I just want them to explore and Check out the new habitat. Here's three. Oh. And these you can sex. They have a concave bottom. If it's a male, there's a male. Large tail. There's his actual penis right there. Showing off. Don't be a show off, dude. Keep it in your cloaca. Uh, what was that? Four. Here's five. It's a female. And these guys are going to be really excited. We might speed this up. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, sorry, little buddy. Don't want you tipped over like that. Hit a little bit of a root. Oh my goodness. Very good, very good. All right, here's what we'll do. You can see them moving away while I place them in there. And my buddy Tom will go ahead and speed up the process until we get to our next species of turtle. Uh, kind of a turtle race. All right, so that's it for the Malaysian box turtles or Cora ambiensis. There's 19 of them. Uh, now let's go ahead and get the pink belly side necks. All right, so we're gonna get those guys, not quite as many. And I'm gonna go ahead and these guys can squirm a bit. So let's get these guys in and they'll find their way to the water. Two. 
three, four, five, and this big gal right here. There's six. All right. Oh, goodness, very cool. And then the Reeves turtles. I can maybe pick a couple. There's four of these little dudes. And these guys are great because the Reeves turtles like land and they enjoy water as well. So this is perfect setup for them. They do good in Florida. Really fun turtle. You definitely should look at these. Uh, they're real beautiful, funny, cool little animals. And the last guy, last Reeves. And then finally, we've got the albino grandis. This is cool, it's an albino. So we're gonna keep them in here. And uh, my goodness, these guys are going. There go the Reeves. There they go, plopping in. Here goes the grandis, come on in, buddy. Go in, <laughs> later, man. Now you can kind of see, we're gonna have a lot of action here in this pond. So let's go ahead and help along the Amidura here because they're trying to burrow under this vegetation. There's some water. Come on, get to the water. Get to the water. There we go. Go on, guys. I think this is going to be awesome. Here's, where's this guy going? He's going around the fence. Come on, man. Get to it. Get on in there. There's water. Get in the water. And there's the Chinese box turtle from a few weeks ago. Uh, excuse me, Chinese soft shell albino. Hey, where are you going? How about that? Trust me. There you go. There you have turtles going into their new home. Pretty excited. So this is cool. Lots of fish in there for them to eat. Uh, lots to do. And uh, should be a good time for everybody. Now, when I come out here, I'll be able to see turtles, which I think is going to be fun. I just, you know, the, the end of the day, guys, you know, I like to keep things natural. I think it's ha happier for the animals. It'll be more difficult to find eggs. But at this point, those turtles, I'm not really worried about collecting the eggs from. Um, it's a secure enclosure that if they hatch, they'll just stay in there and I'll find the hatchlings. So... I'm pretty excited about this little bonus and I'm glad you guys had a chance to come hang out with me while I did it. And so now ah, the Asian turtles have a home of their own. How cool is that? All Asian animals in here. Pretty neat. I guess you could say it's Asia. It's a uh, Southeast Asian river <laughs> or pond. Well, guys, still a few more that need to figure out what they're going to do. I'm Kenan. This has been a bonus video. You're looking at Quora ambienensis, the Malaysian box turtle found in Indonesia and Southeast Asia. We put in some pink belly side necks found in New Guinea and Northern Australia, and uh, some Reeves turtles. They are um, from China and Taiwan. And uh, the snapping turtle you didn't see, but he was biting everyone, so I chucked him in the North American turtle pond. So everyone is in their new home. Oh yeah, and don't forget the albino grandis. Uh, so there you go. Everyone's in a new home. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna watch these guys move around and I hope you guys had a good time watching this. Don't forget to join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Cam Kennan. And uh, as always, oh, there's the little pink belly was right there, poking up and saying hello. We missed him. All right guys, I'm gonna get the turtle watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon.